In this video, we show the use of selective soldering in the production of mixed technology printed circuit board assemblies. A mixed technology board is one with both surface mount and through hole components. It's the through hole components that will be selectively soldered. First, we place the surface mount components and solder them in a reflow oven. Then we insert the through hole components and feed the boards into the selective soldering system. Flux is jetted on the specific areas to be soldered. The flux removes any oxidation from the metal pins and copper pads so you get a good solder joint. The board is then preheated on the top and bottom. This activates the flux and reduces the thermal energy that will have to be supplied by the solder. The preheated board is then moved to the first solder stage. A fountain of molten solder is applied selectively to the component pins. It can solder individual pins or use drag soldering to solder an entire row. This high-end selective soldering system has two additional stages for preheating and soldering. Each stage is programmed to solder a different area of the board. This way, we can have nine boards in process at once for high throughput. Each solder pot is automatically refilled as needed. The liquid solder inside of the machine is blanketed with a 99.999% pure nitrogen. This prevents oxidation and dross for higher quality solder joints. After all three areas are soldered, the boards are cooled and moved to inspection. The Ursa Selective Soldering System supports rapid changeover for high mix manufacturing. Our manufacturing engineers program it for each job using the board layouts. The engineer determines which set of components will be soldered at each of the three stages. They consider factors such as whether to use different size nozzles for different size leads. Now let's look briefly at two alternatives to selective soldering. We can use wave solder for mixed technology boards that are mostly through hole with a few simple SMT components. These are glued to the bottom side of the board and the solder wave contacts both the through hole pins and the SMT leads. This works for simple SMT components only. It can't be used for BGAs, leadless packages, fine pitch, or heavy SMT components. And since the solder wave covers the entire board surface, manual labor may be needed to mask areas that have to be kept free of solder. At the other extreme, boards that are mostly SMT with one or two through hole components will typically have those components hand soldered. Technicians need to be IPC trained and regularly certified. At Z-axis, we use our high-end selective soldering system combined with high-yield SMT pick and place lines to produce complex, mixed technology PCB assemblies with high throughput, high quality, and low labor costs. Contact us to learn more about high-mix electronic product manufacturing in the USA.